Hey guys, Paperclip here, gonna be playing some more EU4 again today as Florence, where I don't remember what we did last time. Uh, we currently don't have a coalition, so I have a feeling we fought a coalition war. Yeah, to be honest, it's been like a week, I really don't remember at all what we did last time. Um... Oh yeah, we took a bunch of stuff down here from the Ottomans and gave it to the Mamluks. We're basically letting Serbia break free up here because we have claims here so we can instantly go to war with Serbia. That'll be fun. Um, we have a truce with Toulouse. Nobody's guaranteed by France. Who does have some allies? We only have 66 units right now. So I don't know if I really want to do that. We're currently occupying Montefrat. Okay, so I guess we're probably waiting because otherwise we'll be in a coalition. Doesn't really appear to be the case. Oh, he won't accept right now because he's an asshole. That's really what it is. We could get military access from him. Why don't we just send that one guy all the way up there? So we have a free diplomat. I mean, we could take like a Murti. He's only friends with QQ, is pretty fucking small. So we can take that one province there. We're gonna need it anyway. And it's already Catholic. We're almost done integrating Tripoli, so that'll be nice when that happens. Um. What else can we do? We do also need Milan. Do we have a claim on Milan? We do. I don't think I can take both of these and Milan though. It's gonna cause a coalition. Um. We don't have a truce with him. Really. Wow. Okay. Who do we have truces with then? The Ottomans, the Mamluks, the Arkan, and Delhi. So that's it. Huh. Definitely figured that would have been higher. We did also make the Mamluks Catholic, so slowly but surely he will become more and more loyal. We are improving relations with him. He is working on coring pretty much all of these things. He already has a core there, so he just has to core those three and he'll be good. In 1694, we can go to war with uh, the Ottomans again. So another 10 years. So that must have been the last thing we did was go to war with the Ottomans again. You know what, instead of France, I think I'd rather go to war with someone like Spain. Especially since he's our rival anyway. Uh, we do want to start making more troops. Let's go ahead and get me a template there. I think this template is what, 13? 13, 13,000 manpower? So then go ahead and get me a second one. Uh, 
Um, let's take a look at this first. This would give the burgers 10 influence and 15 loyalty. Yeah, just do that. Then we could ask them for a contribution. And there we go. They're still loyal. We can repay all of our loans. And we still have 120 bucks. Wonderful. Come on, game. You can do it. There you go. I was getting nervous when it does that, that it's just going to lag out on me. He's being sieged down by Spain. Why don't you stop with the Mamlux for right now? We're going to individually peace out Cologne. Oh, come on, game. I'm not even, like, doing anything in the fucking background, and this game's lagging real bad right now. He does not want to peace out. You know, you're only, like, have your entire fucking country being sieged down right now, and all that stuff. But, you know, nah, you don't, you don't gotta peace out. It doesn't matter. 23 troops to siege this down. Wow. See, it's bullshit that the AI doesn't have to pay for this because that would be costing him like three fucking ducats every month to maintain this fort. And he doesn't make a lot of money, so it's just not... It's dumb. No amount of frat. Why are these two not... Because this is Catalonia, so are these. Catalonia is a state, is it not? No, apparently it's a territory. There we go. Now it's a freaking state. Which it should have been a state in the first place because I've already had that set as a state. But I guess you have to reset it as a state once somebody takes it. It doesn't stay a state. Aren't you going to get any bizarre as well? No? I mean, it's your call. I don't really care, but... We're pretty good on revolt risk, except for over here in Crete. I'm blanking out. Where's Crete? Why do I even see that? These fucking dogs. Always barking at everything. Why do I see Cretan separatists? Oh, and Corfu. Wait, what? So you're gonna do. Oh, okay, okay, whatever. That seems really stupid to me, but you know what? Like, whatever. Not right now, please. Jesus Christ has nothing to do with it. Ah, the longer I do this, the more interruptions I get. I used to never get any interruptions at all. And now I get interrupted like every two fucking times I try to record. It's really annoying. Like, I literally started recording eight minutes ago. Emirati wants military access. Well, who are you at war with? Crimea. No, because then Crimea is just gonna stomp right through me to get to you. Nope. And he still doesn't want to peace out, does he? Nope. Okay, fine. We can sit here and do this for a while. <laughs> Give me just those two guys. Come over here and get that.
How about now? Probably not. Nope. Oh, and it's gonna take fucking forever to get this siege done. Because with eight cannons, we only get two. We need 20 fucking cannons to get a plus five on that. Who, were, who has more cannons? This guy has cannons, right? These eight cannons. Get the hell up there. Because I'm sure there's the supply limit up there. Yeah, there's plenty of supply limit up there. So that's going down. Uh, Serbian separatists are getting kind of high. Over in Zeta. So why don't we just go ahead and get rid of them? No Montefrat. Not until your dumbass friend decides he wants to peace out. Now we have a plus four. convert more stuff we're gonna go ahead and do that there we go now he will peace out right yep I want war reps I want I don't really care if you have a core up there and all your money thank you you Go back to join them. The rest of you can all come down to Provence. And now Montefrat will do this and all the Wow, you have a lot of money. Yeah, let's do that. I probably can't core either one of these. Nope, they both cost tons of fucking points. And of course, they have the plus 25% increased coring cost. Like, why wouldn't they, right? Why wouldn't they? I don't want this fort. <sighs> you guys the right ratio? I think so. Yeah. Now if I just get one here and one there. Right? Hey, I need some infantry here as well. So they have six. We want eight and eight. There we go. They'll give them 13 and 13, so those two will be able to form one by themselves. Then I'll fully pad out that one, and then it should be about 100,000. A little over 100,000 troops. We could do an idea, or, yeah, let's do the idea, what the hell, land leader maneuver is pretty important. How are we doing on our corruption these days? It is going down. Okay, that's all I really care about. There we go. Now the Serbians are almost done with. This guy down here needs some more, so we'll do two cannons. 
I need four infantry. That gives us 104,000. And then we can start building up more regiments again. One thirteen, one thirty-two, one twelve. Oh yeah, we were building a spy network here, and I completely forgot about it. We'll do it for like Toloza. How many troops does Spain have? About a hundred thousand. So I really want to get Toloza. I want Toloza, both of these, and then if I can get Tarragon and Valencia, how much would that be? We're talking 11, 21, 37, 7, 40, 44, 58, so it would be 58 war score just for those. We'll probably even come down and get like Alicante and Mercia. That's another 16. Yeah, probably. I kind of want to take like states. So yeah, I want the state of Valencia. State of Languedoc. The state of Catalonia. And then I think I'll probably start working on like Aragon, Panero, and all of these. Or maybe I'll start working on like Argmac. Arenis, whatever the hell it's called. The nobility wants more land. Why don't you take that one? And he's happy. Greek, Greek. Greek. So there's gonna be Greek separatists pretty much no matter where I go. Thankfully they are all like different types of it. So it does make it easier. Alright, you come up here to Verona, because I'm going to start building another template. Um, let's keep him. I'm not too fond of the whole Republic thing anymore. As soon as we get done building this, we'll have way more troops in Spain. If I suddenly decided, hey, I want to go to war against Spain, it would be us, Bohemia, Portugal, the Papal State, and Lanepe. Only Burgundy would join. Why would Hungary not join? Why would the Commonwealth not join? Because they both like Spain, apparently. Why do you guys like Spain? We've only been at war with Spain like five fucking times. Doesn't make any sense. Like, it literally makes no goddamn sense why he would like Spain at all. What about the Pope? I decided to go to war against the Pope. Burgundy wouldn't join. 
Hungary wouldn't join because they both have good opinions of the Pope. So really, no matter who I go to war with, I can't get everybody in. Hmm. I don't know what's the best call here. Okay, inflation reduction, please. risk is pretty low in most places now. I can actually core one of these now. Do the one that's 22%. Ferrara has some, but that was just because he's being converted. Do Montefrat next. He already has a big revolt risk, so it's not going to hurt too much more. these guys are pretty low over here. I'm going to start moving them over to this border. make a ton of money right now. But I will get a level 6 fort in my capital. Because I feel like that's fairly important. together, group together, why don't you go here, you go here, you go here. That way we can pretty easily throw about 100,000 at him. How big is Bohemia? 53,000. Maybe we can take this pretty easily. Ah, now Hungary will join as well. Do for Toulouse. Go. All right, and let's see. and I think we'll be all right. Let's just go take care of Rome. Let's 
Serbia formed. He's allied with Würzburg. What I might actually do. Start building another template real quick. Stack wipe this army and come up here, attack that army. to Dalmatia because I'm going to immediately tell him to invade Bosnia pretty much right now You got it. You got him. Right here. There we go. Half you guys go over to here. There we go. Now he only has one province he can build troops up in. You guys go take care of him. guys go sit in the Pope's land. You move up, you move up. And Mosin, we're just getting the spy master. I don't really care about influence with the Pope. I mean, he pretty much hates me anyway, so it's never gonna matter. Start working on Verona. Alright, so we got Burn. You move up. You move up. He still doesn't have this one yet, though. There we go. Alright, you move up and you move up. So far, so good. Ah, we finished integrating him down there as well. Perfect. How about this fort? It's a level four. This one is not a level four. How is this a level three? Doesn't make sense. Go try that one. Nope. Yeah, all those ships need to like stay at home. Where's our big navy? Ah, uh, it does not exist anymore apparently. Okay. So that's another thing we, we're going to have to do soon is actually build our navy back up. How many troops do you need? 21? Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'll be you 21. Uh, 
All right, here we go. You guys just go over to there. That should take care of Bosnia. And all you guys, come on into Rome. Let's see, you can come over to Valencia. You can come over to here. You can come down to here. And that'll do it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I have no idea where Spain's army is. But it says he has 87,000 troops somewhere. Where that is, I don't know. Because I basically just sieged down a bunch of his shit without him doing a single thing about it. But until next time, guys, bye bye.